Adding a guest to a Prism Live Studio stream is not difficult. There are apps out there that can help make it really, really easy to do, and they're totally free. And you can add pretty much any number of guests as well. Let me show you how to do it today. So you know what? Let's get to it. The app I want to show you today to add guests to Prism Live Studio is called Video Ninja. It's totally free and open source program that makes it easy to add as many guests as you want. There are links to Prism and Video Ninja down below in the description so you can check them out for yourself. Both of these apps are totally free. It also makes it easy for your guests to connect with cameras and microphones and they can even connect with nothing more than their cell phone. Let me show you how to set it up. So here we are on the Video Ninja and for the purposes of what we're going to do, we're going to create a room. And you just want to put your room name in here. In my case, we're going to call this one OBS Michael. And we can put an optional password. I don't mess around with any of this stuff. Now I'm going to enter the room under the director's role. And then the first thing I'm going to do is go down and customize a couple of things here. I want to go ahead and show display names so that the people that are there know who they're talking to and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to go down here and enable my video camera. Now, if you don't get anything that comes up here, you could go ahead and bring this up. You can select your video source, your audio source, and how you're listening to your guests, which would be your headphones, hopefully. Any digital video or anything like that, you can apply that. There's all kinds of really, really cool stuff that you can do, including uh, using virtual backgrounds or applying just an anonymous mask or an icon or something like that if you would really like to. You can also add your own solo link, but I'll show you how to do that later. Now we are all set up. We want to go ahead and click here so that we can uh, make sure that everyone hears us. And now all we have to do is add guests. And in order to do that, the link that we're going to use is this one right here. So you just copy your link and then email it or however you want to get it to all of your users. That's all you have to do is send it that way. So let me go ahead and message my users to let them know that we are ready to go. This is what the guest sees. They're going to get a link and when they click that link, it will come up to this here, join room with camera. And it automatically selects a camera and a microphone, but you can go ahead and use drop downs to change it if you like. And then you can also test it. Once your camera's ready to go, it will pop up here and it will say start. And once you click start, it will just pop you into this room here and it will be populated by everyone else who's in the room as well. And really it's that simple for a guest to connect. It doesn't matter whether they're using their cell phone or a webcam or a professional camera, whatever they're using. In this case, Michael's using a webcam and Trevor is using a professional camera. The connection is going to be the same. So we should have our guests connecting any moment now. And there we got Trevor. So we can click right here and we can label so that we know and everyone else knows who they are. And then we can lock that up. And Trevor is number one, of course. <laughs> and we're just waiting for Michael to connect. And there we go. Same thing, add a label and boom, we can lock that up. And Michael is number two, there we go. And what we're gonna do is open our Prism Studio and we're gonna make this scene right here into a guest scene. And all we have to do is click the plus and we're gonna go to our browser source, which is this web one right here. Click OK. And we'll call this one Trevor and click OK. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 1920 by 1080. And we wanna control the web audio in the mixer. Uh, so now we just need to pop back over here and we're gonna get this solo link right here. And we're gonna go back into Prism. Go ahead and pop that link in there. And click OK. And that will just pop our guest link up. And there we go, we have Trevor in there. So now what we can do is click the plus again and we will add another person. And, and then we'll just 1920 by 1080. 
and we want to control through the web, we'll come over here and grab that link right here. Pop that link in here. And boom. Just need to make this the proper size. And so you'll notice down here in our audio mixer that we have audio individually for Trevor and Michael. So go ahead and say something, Trevor. And you can see it working. There we go. And Michael. There we go. So that's working. And then all we would need to do in this case is go ahead and add our camera. So we can use a regular webcam or we can use green screen. However we want to do this. Go down here and we'll use custom audio. And we'll go here. And boom. And then we can just shrink this down like that. So that is the first way that you can add guests individually. I like this best because it allows you to control the individual audio settings. However, if we wanted to possibly do this uh, a little simpler, you could say it's simpler, we can add both of the guests as a single scene. So we'll go into web and we'll go ahead and click OK and we'll just call this one guests and click OK and 1920 by 1080 and we want to control via the mixer and we'll just pop over into our thing here and we're going to copy this link right here for the capture group scene and we'll go back into prism we'll copy our group scene in here just like that and it brings it in now you're going to notice when when this comes in that uh, guests are both under one audio thing now so you can in adjust their audio individually. I can move this up here. I can click the plus. I can go to my webcam capture device and once again add myself into this scene as well. Probably. There we go. And shrink it up. Do whatever I want with it. And there we go. So that would be to add guests. See? I told you it was easy. You're going to be streaming guests with some awesome segments in no time at all. If you want to see more about the cool things that you can do with Prism Live Studio, you should check this video out. Big thanks to Prism Live Studio for sponsoring this video. I couldn't possibly make content like this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.